We definitely consider shadow flicker when we're citing wind turbines. For every hour of the day, for every day of the year, we calculate where the sun will be. For every house or, or other area of concern, we then calculate where the sun is relative to the wind turbine and to that, that structure, that house, that area, um, and calculate for each day of the year, you know, is it possible that shadows might be cast? So we end up with a map for each house that says it'll be in January, you know, January 5th through January 15th uh, from about 8 to 8.30 in the morning, we could have issues. Uh, we can do that for each individual residence. And then from there, we can take those results, we can modify the layout to try and um, reduce our impact. But we, we kind of go back and forth through that process to to try and bring it down to minimum. On a typical house, the typical results, um, what you might run into is there would be from like a single wind turbine to the east or west. In the morning or in the evening, you might have a two week or three week time period where every day it's between 10 and 20 minutes a day. Uh, and then it's not, doesn't come back. So it might be in April, you have issues in the morning and then nothing again till the next April. Uh, it may be that in December at night, uh, as the sun's setting, you, you might run into issues for half an hour a day for a couple weeks, where the cumulative effect is still pretty low, but you know, it's, it's just based on where the sun is and if it's sunny or not. And of course, uh, sometimes it's sunny and sometimes it's not. Sometimes it's windy and sometimes it's not, so we have to consider all of that. We can shut the machines off during those very short periods where we can cause issues. Shadow flicker to a residence is a mathematical model that we can accurately predict. We know exactly when of the calendar period and at what hours that it will affect a residence. And we have the ability to electronically turn off the turbine for that period of time for that particular calendar day. Uh, as the sun comes up uh, at a certain time of the year and they get these flickers, they would shut these wind turbines down for the 45 minutes that uh, it would take for the sun to come across that horizon, uh, you know, morning and night, um, to eliminate it for these residents. Some turbines will be required to be turned off for an hour in the morning for a home that is off to the west, and some turbines will turn off for an hour at the end of the day for a residence that is to the east. As of spring of 2019, DTE now operates 342 wind turbines in the state of Michigan. And of those 342 turbines within the state of Michigan, uh, we look at how many people could possibly be living near them. And that's somewhere on the order of almost 10,000 individuals living in the immediate vicinity of a single section around any given wind turbine that we operate in the state. And with that number of residences, as I said, only seven complaints that have required us to adjust our operation. So, so if, if it's a certain time of day and it's a certain day of the year, we know uh, we're going to shut this machine down and now you don't have any shadow flicker because it only happens if the machine's turning and it only happens if it's sunny and it only happens if it's windy. So there's a lot that, a lot of things have to come together to cause it.